The Power of Habit Welcome to another episode on our Insightful Stories Snapshot channel. This is the platform where we delve into the intriguing universe of books, where we peel back the layers of wisdom to expose the enriching core. Today we journey through a profound exploration of human behavior in the transformative book, The Power of Habit, by Charles Duhigg. Let's get started. Introduction The Power of Habit starts with a provocative idea, habits are not destiny. Duhigg encourages us to understand that our life, essentially, is the sum of our habits. Habits are powerful but delicate. They can emerge outside our consciousness or can be deliberately designed. They shape our lives far more than we realize they are so strong, in fact, they cause our brains to cling to them at the exclusion of all else, including common sense. What is striking about this opening segment is that it holds a mirror to our lives, making us realize that the majority of our actions are simply habits repeated over time. It reveals that our habits are not only the small actions we repeatedly do, such as brushing our teeth every morning but also the recurring thoughts and emotions we experience. This insight gives us an intriguing framework to work with. Habit Loop Duig presents us with a simple yet robust structure, the habit loop, which consists of three elements. Cue Routine Reward The cue triggers the routine, and the routine leads to the reward. This model provides us with an innovative perspective on how habits form and how we can manipulate this process to our advantage. The author illustrates this with the story of an insatiable cookie eater. Author says, To change a habit, you must keep the old cue and deliver the old reward, but insert a new routine. The cookie eater learned to replace the habit of eating a cookie with taking a walk around the office when the afternoon cravings hit. The reward, distraction and socialization stayed the same, but the routine was healthier. Keystone Habits Duig goes on to introduce keystone habits, the habits that lead to the development of multiple good habits. Duig emphasizes. Success doesn't depend on getting every single thing right but instead relies on identifying a few key priorities and fashioning them into powerful levers. He presents the example of the Aluminum Company of America, Alcoa, where a change in safety habits eventually led to the overall success of the company. The establishment of safety as a keystone habit led to a culture that valued discipline, respect, and teamwork, making Alcoa a high-performance workplace. Habits of Successful Organizations In the realm of organizations, Duig underlines the concept of crisis as a potential changemaker. He explains that during a crisis, old habits become vulnerable and new routines can be formed. Starbucks' success story serves as a perfect example here, demonstrating how the company bounced back after a major crisis by changing its customer service habits. Habits and Free Will While explaining the science of habits, Duig does not ignore the philosophical implications. He discusses the tricky relationship between habits and free will. Once you understand that habits can be rebuilt, the power becomes easier to grasp, and the only option left is to get to work, he states. In the tale of a sleepwalking murderer, we see the blurred lines between unconscious habits and conscious decisions. This narrative prompts us to reflect on our own habits, questioning how much control we really have, and how much we can gain. Transforming Lives Dewey grounds off by emphasizing the transformative power of habits. He showcases the inspiring story of a woman who turned her life around by changing a single habit smoking. This one change triggered a series of positive changes in her life, showing us the potential that lies in changing just one detrimental habit. Duig reminds us. The golden rule of habit change, you can't extinguish a bad habit, you can only change it. This quote should serve as a compass, guiding us as we embark on our personal journeys of habit transformation. Conclusion The Power of Habit isn't just a book it's a manual for transformation, a lens to examine our lives, and a toolkit for change. It empowers us with the knowledge that habits can be understood, analyzed, and changed to mold our lives in the shape we want. As we sign off from this episode, remember the timeless wisdom encapsulated in this book, change might not be fast and it isn't always easy. But with time and effort, almost any habit can be reshaped. 
With this thought, I encourage you all to embark on your personal habit-changing journey, inspiring others, and transforming your own life. Thank you for tuning into Story Snapshot today. We will meet again with another enlightening exploration. Until then, stay curious, stay inspired.